Hello beauties and welcome back to my channel. I hope y'all are having a lovely day. I am pulling up to you with a huge fragrance haul. I have 12 new fragrances in my collection. Yeah, two, four, six, eight, ten. 12 new fragrances in my collection. And I wanted to share them with you today. Some of these you've already seen in other videos, but I wanted to give you guys a full compilation of all of the new fragrances in my collection. So if you're interested in talking all things luxury, fragrance, all that good stuff, then just keep on watching. Let's start with the one I've had in my collection the longest. That is Tom Ford Ombre Leather. I don't think I ever hauled this. This was sent to me by Tom Ford. And first of all, I can't believe that Tom Ford sent me anything. But y'all, I'm in love with this. This is a stunning leather and violet fragrance. So the notes in this include leather, violet, and cedar wood. It's a very simple composition, but this is so luxe and plush. It has like that soft touch suede kind of feel. This is definitely a leather forward fragrance, but that violet makes this really nice and sweet. And the cedar grounds the fragrance. This is, to me, perfectly unisex. I feel very sexy, grown woman and beautiful when I wear this. And can we just talk about the fact, like, this is not a sticker. That is engraved into the bottle. So this is the Parfum. This is not the um, original. This is the flanker. So this is the Parfum. This is so good. If you are a woman that loves leather fragrances, I think that you should give this a try. To me, this is very sexy, very commanding. This is all black um, with like some, with boots, like black boots. Um... This is just a moment. She's a moment. It's not something that I wear casually. This is beautiful. It's commanding, but perfectly unisex. Um, I let my brother wear this a little while ago and he smelled great in it. But on me, this is, it does lean more feminine and I love it. So that is Tom Ford Ombre Leather. I have been wanting this fragrance since I got my first, since I got my first big girl job back in the day. And I got a sample of this I wanted it so bad. I was wearing this to work in the summer and I don't know how. I really wanted this fragrance, but I just couldn't justify spending the money. And I picked this up for my birthday. I said I wanted to get that fragrance because this just has kind of embodied everything I love in my fragrance journey. And this is Tom Ford Velvet Orchid. And this is I would say the more feminine version of Black Orchid. So she looks like, those of you who know my favorite color is purple. So the bottle just does it for me, it's stunning. I only got the, um, the 50 mil because I was like, I'm not sure if I'll need a big bottle, but I don't know, I've already made a dent in it. So I may have uh, done a little bit bad by not getting the big bottle. I did purchase this on Favgrants. I will leave my links for Favgrants down below. I am an affiliate, so there will be affiliate links just so you know. I do get a small commission and it helps me put back into the channel, um, but they have a lot of great deals on fragrances, so I highly suggest you check them out. So Velvet Orchid has that deep orchid fragrance, but there are notes of honey and rum. Now with this, you do have to enjoy that original orchid DNA. Velvet Orchid is sweeter. Yeah. It's more balsamic. That honey and that rum make this more balsamic and boozy. I do want to get the original Black Orchid in my collection. I never thought I would say that, but I have a rollerball of it. Um, I was sent a rollerball and I love it. That one kind of gives me like this truffle cacao kind of vibe but I love that orchid DNA so this is stunning I love it this is grown woman vibes grown woman only <laughs> this is grown it's sexy it's sweet a little dark and mysterious this is a woman that has her life together yeah velvet orchid everything so happy I finally decided to put her in my collection because I deserve i'm so enjoying this this was a grower 
it wasn't an instant love at first sniff. And Lord, they're coming out with another one, y'all. Like, literally, another one is dropping tomorrow, um, the day after I'm filming this. This is Kayali Invite Only Amber 23. And I always love the Kayali packaging. How beautiful. I hate the fingerprints though, but I keep, I have a little um, cloth to wipe all of my fragrances down, but I keep forgetting her. I don't know why. There we go. So this is a cherry tobacco amber fragrance. This has notes of that sour cherry, tobacco, honey. There's some cacao in there and this has a sandalwood base. So I know, like I mentioned, a lot of people were saying that this is very oody. And to me, that sandalwood comes out. Like I could smell the sandalwood before I even opened, even took the, you know, spray the perfume. I could smell it just at the atomizer. This smells so good. So yeah, the, the notes are on the back of this. So it says black cherry, honey de Provence, tobacco leaf, amber resin, and vanilla from Madagascar. This is super sexy. Um, definitely, I would say, to me, this is still feminine. Um, I know a lot of people are saying that this is masculine. I'm trying to imagine a man wearing this, and I, I can't. To me, this is not truly unisex. The ombre leather is a true unisex fragrance to me, but Invite Only is not. Um, I love the cherry that is in Invite Only. The cherry in this is what really sells me on it. It's so sweet, almost slightly powdery, but still juicy and sour. Everything about this is just pure luxury. It's very sexy. It's the perfect balance of sexy, sweet, mysterious, a little dark, but not too dark. This is so good. So Kayali Invite Only Amber 23. If you've been thinking about it, I think it's worth it. Like I've said before, Kayali is not for everyone, but I think it gets more flack than it deserves. Um, a lot of people, I feel like, give it flack because of the price point. I think a lot of people want a whole lot of something for a whole lot of nothing. Because I'm sorry, but I can't imagine paying for less, paying less than $100 for this, honestly. Um, but two, I think a lot of people just like to gatekeep the the whole idea of something being niche. And things can be more inexpensive and still be liked on a mainstream basis and still be niche. I think people just need to get over that. Like, get that stick from out of your booty hole, baby, because it's not cute. <laughs> um, so I think a lot of it is just a little bit of gatekeeping. And honestly, it's not cute. Let's go down the list of my other Sephora fragrances. Because um, I got that one and a couple of others during the Sephora sale. So... The next one I have, this is my first Jo Malone fragrance and I'm not sure that I like it. So here is the packaging. And I have been honestly not really interested in Jo Malone for a while, but I kept hearing a lot about this fragrance and I decided that I wanted to try it. And this is Jo Malone's Myrrh and Tonka. And I don't know if I like this guys. There are aspects of this fragrance that I like, but there's something about it that's bothering me. So this has notes of myrrh. Obviously there's tonka bean. There's some vanilla in there. Um, and there's some roasted almond as well. And see like now I'm smelling it and I get more of that like sweetness, toastedness that I was looking for, but when I when I wore it the first day, I I don't know. I really don't know. This to me, it's not even that it leans masculine. There's just something in there that's annoying me. And it's not the myrrh, and it's not the tonka. The main <laughs> the main facet of this fragrance is not what's bothering me. But I don't know. There is a chance that I may return this. I'm really not sure. Yeah, I like it. I, I don't dislike it. But there's just something in there that bothers me. I need to wear it more, give it a real proper wear. 
but there are so many things about this fragrance that I like, which is what is making me want to continue to wear it um, and see if I end up falling for it. Because sometimes, like, I'll get a fragrance and I don't really like it, but then I give it a good proper wear and I'm like, no, I was wrong. But most of the Jo Malone fragrances to me smell like something I would want in my house, but not on my body. And this one... I felt like would be the best one to go and for. And then this next one, this was a good, a good blind buy. I had been wanting to try this and I figured, let me just go ahead and get it. I got a little impulsive during the Sephora sale. I'm sorry, the sun is going down because I refuse to get up early enough. I've been sick, y'all. Don't, <laughs> don't hate. But um, this is Terra Di Joa from Giorgio Armani. I heard Paulina Shar talk a lot about this. I'm so happy I got this, guys. First of all, the bottle is beautiful. And actually sits bigger in the hand than I expected. So they only had the um, 50 mil and then the 30 mil on Sephora. So let me, can you see it if I, yeah, that's what she, she looks like so they only had those two sizes but I kind of wish I had 100 mil now but that's okay when I finish this off I'll buy the 100 mil so this has notes of like pear I think there's bergamot um but this has a almond blossom note with jasmine and there's also I believe sandalwood and musk <sighs> y'all this is such a beautiful airy sweet slightly nutty fragrance this is the kind of sweetness I've been wanting something that's kind of fresh out of the shower you just smell good and pretty all day and this is it this is complex enough for me but also in a very simple way you know what I'm saying and I like that this is a beautiful fragrance I love the bottle but I also just really really love the scent the scent is it's fresh, but there's also something very creamy about it. It almost kind of gives me like a lotion vibe. Um, and I really, really like it. I've never gotten into like the Aqua de Joa or any of the other de Joa ones, like any of the flankers. But now that I've tried this, I really want to try Ocean de Joa and see how that goes. One of you guys told me you purchased that, um, but you hadn't tried it. So you were going to see how it goes. But guys, I... If you're looking for something um, feminine, clean, but still sweet, still a little interesting, kind of creamy, a little lotion-y, I think you'll love this. Highly suggest one of, so good, so good. This actually came in the mail today, along with, I finally got it, Killian Love Don't Be Shy. Card. and there she is simple but still nice and pretty of course this is not a blind buy for me I had a um what do you call it I had a travel spray I used up all of that and I said I'm just gonna buy a full bottle because like when it comes to stuff like that guys like sometimes you end up spending more money than what the actual full size fra fragrance costs just buying travel sizes. Like just buy, the, just buy the full damn bottle. Like if you really like it, just buy the full bottle. So that is what she looks like. Beautiful bottle. And I love that pink juice. And this is a marshmallow, orange blossom and neroli forward fragrance. This is sweet, a little powdery, a little creamy. I love this. I get a lot of compliments on it. Um, I think I'll probably get more compliments now that I have the full bottle. I was saying to one of my friends, we were talking about how like sometimes even with the travel sprays, like I'll wear a travel spray and it smells good, but then I get the full bottle and I'm just like, whoa, this projects way more. <laughs> um, there's just sometimes they just differ. Um, I feel that way with my Chloe Nomad Absolute. When I had the sample, it smelled good, but I didn't feel like it was a big projector. But now that I have the full bottle, like, it's strong. A little more than I can handle sometimes. So, um, I'm really happy to have this, guys. 
yeah I felt like I needed to have it um because when I ran out of my travel size I missed it and I was like you know what I'm just gonna take advantage of the 20% and get it um so we'll see I think there's another event coming up for Sephora um I think they're gonna send out another 20% off so I really want Intoxicated and Black Phantom but we'll Let's see do a cheap buy this is I kept hearing about this from the Cherries TV Abby here um she has a beautiful channel but like her her Instagram and TikTok content is really where she shines like her Instagram page is beautiful and she kept talking about this and I was like I need to get it so this is Ragba from Latafa this comes in 100 mil I've been wearing this and loving it now I don't know if everyone around me loves it but I love it this is a beautiful incense -y vanilla. This has vanilla, oud, and incense. And I think that this is, this is going to be a love-hate. I don't, I can't see anyone being in between on it. So, this to me is very sweet, warm, but still like kind of boss, like boss bitch vibes. I think from that oud, I love the smell of this on me. Yeah, I love the smell. It's just smoky enough um, with that oud. It's not too smoky. It's not um, like shahaf oud. Like I told y'all, I had to get rid of that. I couldn't do it anymore. Yeah, this is just enough. The incense really does linger and that vanilla is so warm and sweet. If you're looking for a good vanilla that's going to be different from what a lot of people are picking up, I highly suggest this one. It's really, really nice. It's not, I wouldn't call this a comforting vanilla. This is a, um, this is the kind of vanilla that's going to get people's attention. People are going to know that you're wearing something. Um, my dad was like, the other day, he was like, what's that smell? Like perfume. <laughs> and I was like, um, well, I put perfume on this morning and I'm like, is it bad? And he was like, no it smells good it's just very noticeable <laughs> men right so um it's definitely going to catch people's attention it's very different I've been loving this and enjoying it it is very dark so be careful putting this on white clothes you might not want to spray this on if you're wearing something white but this is beautiful absolutely love it another affordable buy that I've recently shared with you guys um this is from imaginary authors and this is their collaboration with salt and straw i believe they are a um ice cream shop in like oregon or something like that um and this is a whiff of waffle cone i love the packaging i've had this sitting on my bookshelf actually and a whiff of waffle cone is one of the most decadent um gourmand fragrances ever so this has vanilla, heavy cream, salted caramel, amorous, orgeat, saigon cinnamon, and ice cream shop. And like I said before, this smells like, like a berry ice cream and a super fragrant waffle cone. And it does have a little bit of that salted caramel aspect too. This is so good. I've been wearing this a lot. You can actually see the dent in this already. I've only had it for a couple of weeks. This is so sweet. Like I said, it has that Baccarat Rouge effect. Like whenever you think you can't smell it, you move and you're like, oh my God, what smells so good? And you're like, oh, it's me. <laughs> this will last on your clothes forever. This is a beautiful fragrance. Absolutely love this. Um, whiff of Waffle Cone. Basically, imaginary authors, they're known for having an imaginary note in all of their fragrances. The imaginary note in here is Ice Cream Shop. But this smells, it's literal, but also not literal. Like, it smells like what you think about when you think of an ice cream shop. But it also smells like the Waffle Cone and the ice cream dripping with, like, a sauce or something. It's really nice, really decadent perfect for this season it's heavy but it's not too heavy it still has a little bit of an airiness to it which I think is good because um if it were any stronger I think it would choke you out honestly Nabile from Quinto Canto oh she's reflective 
I recently shared this. The last four of these I got from Favegrants. So you can check these out there. I think this one is out of stock right now. As soon as I start talking about a fragrance, it goes out of stock. Um, but this is from Quinto Canto. This is um, a sister company to Tiziana Terenzi. So they're, um, Paolo Terenzi is the perfumer. And look at, look at the presentation, y'all. How stunning. Y'all, I love this fragrance. It is super smoky and uh This has milky notes. There are spices. Powdered sugar. Like, it just smells so good. I've been wearing this a lot. I said that I feel like it kind of smells like like a sweet spice sugar or like eggnog kind of. It has that kind of it doesn't have the eggy vibe, but it has that vibe with those spices and that kind of sweet vanilla cream situation. Y'all, this smells amazing. Oh, the air smells so good. I heard, I've heard people say that it smells very, um, menthol-y. I don't know where people are getting that, but some people feel like it has that. Um, this is sweet. It's creamy, but still perfectly unisex. It smells very, very good. Very warm, cozy festive it's really nice all right so now i have three from um m mikalef and they're all from the secrets of love range we're gonna go through these quickly the first one i have everyone's been trying to get their hands on this paulina shaw talked about this and it has been out of stock like forever <laughs> um and this is secrets of love glamour from m mikalef and this is basically I would say this is a fruitier version of Alien. Um, let me, I'll spray the box. This smells way more like what Alien used to smell like back in the day. Y'all know they've reformulated and it's not as good anymore. It, the new Alien is more shampoo-y. It's not as like heady and balsamic. This is. This has a beautiful base of vanilla. I believe there is plum and apple in here, along with that really indolic jasmine. Y'all, this is so good. The bottle is stunning, rose gold. <sighs> this smells so good, guys. If you love Alien, if you have been loving Alien since its, its original launch, and you are dissatisfied with the performance of what it is now, Try to get your hands on this. It's been very difficult to get your hands on, but it, it is sexy. It's so sexy, incredibly sexy. Um, absolutely love this. The packaging is beautiful. The longevity and projection are just far reaching and enormous and just everlasting, just beautiful. The next one I have been talking about a lot and I love this too. I haven't worn it a lot because I feel like it deserves a night out. <laughs> this is Delise from M. Mikalef. Y'all, I have I have a new obsession with M. Mikalef. I want all other fragrances. I really want Note Vani. I gotta get my hands on Ylang and Gold. I want the other two, well, the other three from Secrets of Love. More specifically, Gourmet. Really want that one, as well as Sensual. Um, and I also want Ananda from Mikalef as well. Y'all, these fragrances, the craftsmanship on the craftsmanship, the craftsmanship on these fragrances is just absolutely divine. This is plum, oud, spices. I think there's like bay leaf in here. On my skin, this smells like what I wanted Lost Cherry to be. This is rich it's smoky but that plum is very sweet and it comes out to be a yummy but still very like dark and daring fragrance y'all <laughs> y'all everything listen and Mikalef is out here doing it different but I feel like this is what Lost Cherry wanted to be 
this is more daring if you're more of that woman that's like super daring feminine but very daring very like hey bitch i'm here this is everything everything and i'm waiting for a specific night out to wear this um because like i said i feel like it needs a night out heels a bold lip like i can see the outfit already this is beautiful i i don't know how more people aren't talking about this this is everything 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 and then last but not least absolutely not least we have i think this is from their old packaging secrets of love passion and that's what she looks like this is a beautiful um i would say quasi gourmand this has oud but there's also some orange grapefruit um vanilla and caramel notes y'all this is so warm sweet but not too sweet it's very intriguing. This is definitely one of those that when I wear it out, people are like, what are you wearing? Like they can't place it. The bottle is stunning. It's so good. I love the orange in this. I feel like I've heard people say when they tried this, they were put off. And I think because the orange is very literal, it, it smells like fresh orange. It's not a synthetic orange. It's like natural from from the tree orange and not the peel the juice this smells like orange and cinnamon and clove with that caramel and that oud it's not a full on gourmand but it it really t it toes the line it smells so good i've been wearing this a lot this smells very festive to me I think this would be great to wear at like a holiday party. This is definitely amazing for this time of year. Perfect for the cold weather. <sighs> Y'all, I can't really say which one of these three are my favorite because they're all phenomenal and you need to try at least one of these Mika Leff fragrances. They are beautiful. They are stunning. They just do it for me. They do. And that's why I want all the other ones from the, Secret, the Secrets of Love range. I have to get my hands on gourmet for sure i have to get my hands on gourmet this is beautiful all of these are so stunning the craftsmanship is beautiful the scents are so natural but still so sensual and sexy i don't know how mika Lap does it and i i just feel like proud to have these fragrances in my life that might sound crazy but i do so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm sorry it is just it's dork it's dork but we just rolling with it you know once I get everything flipped over I'll have I have umbrella lights I just can't fit them where I where I'm sitting so <laughs> once I have all of that flipped over I'll be able to film no matter what time of day it is <laughs> so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video y'all let me know what you think about these fragrances I think I have some true gems in my collection really happy with what I have there are a couple more things I want, but I think right now I'm just going to be enjoying all the new goodies and all the existing things I have in my collection. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.